The acts of nonviolence, uh, civil disobedience took to the streets today in Washington, D.C. as the Poor People's Campaign uh, continued their focus on raising awareness, raising awareness uh, about the For the People Act. But not just that, they also want uh, Congress to understand that they are advocating advocates uh, for more than just that. They also want them to be focused on $15 an hour, also protecting the rights of immigrants. And so they, they want to broaden that agenda. Some of the criticism that uh, Reverend Dr. William J. Barber has leveled uh, at uh, Congress is that they are very good at finding money and resources uh, for, uh, for uh, corporations, but not necessarily poor people. And so, of course, we, last week we were in Austin where they took the campaign there, but here uh, they wanted to uh, have their national moral money uh, take place uh, in Washington, D.C. Now, uh, more than 300 people, folks, uh, were actually arrested. Uh, you talk about um, totally different what we've seen uh, in the past. Uh, and so this here is some video. We were out there live streaming it. Uh, this here is some video uh, that we shot of uh, Reverend Dr. Barber, but also Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr., Reverend Liz Theo Harris, Reverend Frederick Douglas Haynes III, uh, them being uh, arrested. And now I'm explaining to you exactly what happened uh, today. What they did today was uh, they actually did not use the twisty ties on each one of them or handcuff them. Uh, they actually uh, did color-coded uh, tape around, uh, around their wrist. Uh, and what they then did was they processed everyone on the scene because there were so many people. Previous protests that we've shown, they were actually led, uh, led away uh, and uh, to the police station. That was not the case today, again, because there were so uh, many people uh, who were out there. Uh, they really wanted with this uh, campaign to dramatize exactly what is going on in the nation's capital uh, and trying to put the pressure on Congress to do more, to step up. Uh, and so you, you, you have been seeing these actions take place. I'm going a little bit later, I'm going to show you some of what was said at uh, today's march, but it really ties into what uh, progressives are demanding is for a much more aggressive uh, uh, action by Democrats. So that's that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Racial injustice is a scourge on this nation, and the black community has felt it for generations. We have an obligation to do something about it. Whether it's canceling student debt, increasing the minimum wage, or investing in Black-owned businesses, the Black community deserves so much better. I'm Nina Turner, and I'm running for Congress to do something about it.